Hello all, uh, sorry for this glitch. Um, today uh, I will show you um, how I united multiple GraphQL schemas and the one facade uh, using AWS and serverless. So I'm breathing and running serverless, uh, having six certificates, uh, including all the main ones, and not special specialty ones, but I have joined uh, for the program uh, doing this. Uh, Probably next time will be seven times certified. So yeah, and I'm an uh, independent consultant for Fortune 500 companies in the startups, uh, although also AWS community builders, uh, one of these great uh, team and community. It's just awesome. Uh, also a bit long distance runner. That's why I moved to Barcelona where it's always sunny and uh, only a little bit rain, but so much sea and good weather. So uh, why are we choosing GraphQL? Uh, let's speak about this. Um, there are, from my experience, three reasons. And front-end people are always uh, going to be the advocates uh, in the teams to use GraphQL. Uh, so I think one of the most important thing is the endpoint part, uh, where we have just one. Uh, no more overfetching. Uh, do you remember when in the e-commerce projects you need to fetch the products uh, from the cart uh, but you don't need everything but you're fetching just a couple of megabits of data and also important thing is the strict contract where all the parties know what they are uh, requesting and responding for so um micro front ends is a new thing for uh front end and uh, i think it's a logical connect logically connected to this topic of federation uh and also i will be speaking about upsync a little bit so um microservices done on the front end side you are get and you are getting the micro front ends i think that's super important to understand that um micro front ends is basically giving you the ability to to have uh, uh, these verticals, I will be speaking about them a little bit later, but um, basically every team owns own domain. So also let's talk a little bit about AppSync. AppSync is a serverless GraphQL API and uh, it really works well with uh, all the integrations with AWS and all the other services. Um, I think it's pretty important to say that there is also Apollo GraphQL and uh, it's a little bit different on Apollo GraphQL. You need to host it somewhere and either in Lambda or in any microservice. So that's why uh, I chose to use AppSync because um, you have less headache of managing any server or provisioning. And also it really works well with Lambda, with AWS Lambda functions uh, where they can be data sources so <clears throat> when we understood that we need uh, a micro front end architecture um and here is the right on the right you can find the picture where every team has own domain it has own mission and it's also have this own persistence layer uh also on backend and front end and it really aligns well with the federation where you have this uh super graph which basically unites all the all the subgraphs and uh, super graph is uh basically doing the thing that for example if you have products you have cards you have uh users you have uh uh, registration subgraphs uh, so they can be called from one endpoint from one facade how we uh, how I have done it basically I found a really great great article by Ed Lima thanks him uh, with his support also I have been in contact with him if he's somewhere around um, really uh, great uh, great article which gives the uh, points of how using it so the architecture is really simple you are sending the graphql request to the api gateway and on api gateway uh there is a lambda integrated and federation lambda is just uh, starting the server and then uh, it's uh, asking all the AppSync uh, apis uh, which are underneath or any other apis the graphql apis actually can support also apollo in this site and then uh, lambdas are there in our case it was just uh, graphql AppSync. 
So here is the code. I will show it really briefly. So we have this Apollo gateway and where we need to put the subgraphs. Uh, basically, uh, here we are building the service and then put it in the handler. I have a couple of seconds left. So the good thing, one schema, the bad thing, Cold Stars Federation. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.